marching through Georgia, sometimes spelled as marching through Georgia or marching through Georgia, is a marching song written by Henry Clay Work at the end of the American Civil War in 1865. The title and lyrics of the song refer to U.S. Army Major General William T. Sherman's March to the Sea to capture the Confederate city of Savannah, Georgia in late 1864. History The song became widely popular with Union Army veterans after the American Civil War. The song, sung from the point of view of a Union soldier, tells of marching through Georgian territory, freeing slaves, meeting Unionist men glad to see the U.S. flag and U.S. soldiers, and punishing the Confederacy for their starting the war. After the war, in parts of the southern United States, and particularly in Georgia, the song came to symbolize the devastation and political domination the Union wrought upon the Confederacy and southern U.S. states during the war. Coincidentally, Sherman himself came to dislike marching through Georgia, in part because it was played at almost every public appearance that he attended. Outside of the southern United States, it had a widespread appeal. Japanese troops sang it as they entered Port Arthur, the British Army sang it in India, and an English town mistakenly thought the tune was appropriate to welcome southern American troops in World War II. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Legacy The song remains popular with brass bands, and its tune has been adapted to other popular songs, including the controversial sectarian anthem of Glasgow Rangers football club, Billy Boys, and Come In, Come In. It was also sung by a carpetbagger in Gone with the Wind, and Anne Sheridan in Dodge City. In the United Kingdom, the tune is used for the Georgist anthem, The Land, the de facto party song of the Liberal Democrats and of the former Liberal Party. A version of it titled Marching Through Bermondsey was sung during the 1983 by-election campaign in which Liberal candidate Simon Hughes won the South East London seat named in the song, against Labour candidate Peter Tatchell. The song alludes to Tatchell's homosexuality and Liberal campaign material referred to the by-election as a straight choice. Hughes held it for the Liberals and subsequently the Liberal Democrats until 2015. An anglicized version of the song was recorded between 1901 and 1903 during the Second Anglo-Boer War. This version, although almost identical, included alternate lyrics and was issued as Marching on Pretoria. On the Xenophone label, George M. Cohan referenced the Hurrah! Hurrah! line in one of the verses of You're a Grand Old Flag, juxtaposed with a line from Dixie. In 1919 the song was adapted with lyrics by Tomomichi Soeda and Shogetsu Watanabe as Tokyo Bushi pi, pi, no pi, which subsequently became a perennially popular Shin Minio standard. The song was featured in the soundtrack to the film The Flower and the Angry Waves by Seijun Suzuki. The Finnish protest song, Leva Toivo, Aulu, English, The Ship Hope, Aulu, is set to the melody of Marching Through Georgia but with Finnish language lyrics criticizing the actions of the captain of the titular frigate Toivo, the song is referenced in the title of two alternate history novels. S. M. Sterling's Marching Through Georgia references the title, and Ward Moore's Bring the Jubilee references the chorus. In 1924, guitar and harmonica player Charlie Oakes released Marching Through Flanders for the Vocalion label Vocalion 15104. It bears an identical melody to Marching through Georgia, but details the exploits of American troops in Belgium during World War I. On October 12, 1929, for the first football game at Sanford Stadium at the University of Georgia, Yale University was heavily favored. The Yale band had planned to play Marching through Georgia, but Yale lost 15 0, and the band had to play something else. Composer Scott Bradley quoted it in his MGM cartoon scores of the 1940s, including the Oscar-winning Tom and Jerry Short, Yankee Doodle Mouse, 1943, and Tex Avery's, King Size Canary, 1947. In the latter he ironically juxtaposed it with the tune of, Yankee Doodle. In the classic western movie Shane, 1953, ex-Confederate Frank, Stonewall. Tori Elisha Cook Jr. is goaded by another, harmonica-playing, character with an impromptu rendition of Marching Through Georgia. 
In the 1966 Howard Hawks western El Dorado, the character Bull, in response to being shot at from a bell-laden church tower and then asked to provide cover, proclaims, "'Well, just give me another gun and I'll play,' marching through Georgia. The Stockton, California band Pavement emphatically reference Sherman's march to the sea and song, "'Marching Through Georgia' in their song, "'Unseen Power of the Picket Fence' from their 1994 album reissue. Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain, LA's Desert Origins. At the end of Game 5 of the 1996 World Series, after Paul O'Neill caught the final out of the game by robbing Luis Polonia of a potential game tying or winning hit, Vin Scully, who called the World Series on CBS Radio, announced that the New York Yankees had been marching through Georgia, and where have we heard that before? St. George Girls High School and Hurlstone Agricultural High School in Sydney, Australia have school songs set to the music. Lyrics Adaptations Topic. Come in One version of the chorus for Come In is as follows. Topic. The Land The first verse and chorus from The Land is as follows. The song was interpolated into the United States of America's The American Metaphysical Circus. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes. <laughs>